Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to delete all files except the oldest file for each month in SSIS. So recently I got a question from one of my subscriber Rafa Kosar and the question was that the max date file for each month should be retained and rest of the file should be deleted. So let's see how we can do that. In my D files location I got several files. So if you look at the date modified here, so all these files till IMG signed and from 55k TDS so all these files are these are 24 files and these all these files are for the January 22 files and the first file 55k TDS this is the oldest file for the month so when the package will run so this file should be retained and rest of the 23 files should be deleted and similarly if you look at these four files so there are four files for November 2021 and this file sellers.xsd so this is the oldest file for the month so this file should be retained and all the remaining three files should be deleted for the month so out of these 28 files only two files should be retained and rest 26 files should be deleted so the 55k tds.png this file should be retained for january 2022 and then the sellers.xsd file should be retained for the November 2021. So let's see how we can do that using SSIS. So let me open my blank SSIS package. So I will be writing the code in the script as. So let me just drag and drop the script as into the control flow window. And then I can just configure the script as here. I need to click on edit script so that the script editor can be opened up where I can write the code in the C sharp language. Alright, so the editor has been opened up. So I already written some code here so I can just share this code with you so that you can use it in your environment. So let me just copy and paste the code here and I will also explain you what this code is doing. So it seems like it needs some um, namespaces so I can click on show potential fixes and I can add system.io. So I think all the errors are gone and I think it needs one more yeah, system.link alright so all the errors are gone now and it will look at the d files location and will delete all files except the oldest file for the month so let me just explain you a bit what i'm doing here so in this particular line i'm just getting all the files from the d files location into the local variable info and then i'm just getting all the file details modified by last write time so all the file details sorted by last modified date they will be assigned to the files array here okay so the files will be sorted in the ascending order but i need the files in the descending order because i want to retain the highest file so i'm just doing the reverse of the array so till this location the array will be in the ascending order of last write time of the file and then i'm just reversing the order here okay and then i'm just running a for each loop so i'm just looping through all the files and i have declared a local variable in type here so the very first time for the very first file the value of the i will be zero so i will retain that file so because the highest file will be written so i will return the first file when the value of the i equal to zero and for that file i will get the current month into a variable current month variable and the value of i will become i equal to i plus one so it will become one so the second time when the loop will run so it will fetch the 60k tds file and now because the value of i is not zero anymore so it will go into the else condition and then we will get the current month from that particular file as well and now because the month of this file and this file is same it is one so the month is equal so what it will do it will delete the file okay so for all the files of january from this location to this location all files will be deleted because the month is equal to the first files month okay and now as soon as it will pick this sellers.xsd file so now what will happen then as soon as it will come here it will get the month here and now it will get the month number 11 so this condition will be become false and now it will come into the else condition again so now it will come into the else condition and then again it won't delete the file here and then get the current month of the file into this particular variable and the loop will continue so this is how we will just delete all the files from this folder except these two files 50k tds and then sellers.xsd so these two files will be retained and rest of the files will be deleted okay so let me just close this particular code 
and I will share this code with you. So let me execute the SSIS package. So the package ran fine. Let me go back to the D files location. So you can see that all files got deleted except the two files and these files are the oldest files of the month. So this file was the oldest file for the January 2022 and this file was the oldest file for November 2021. So I think that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.